Yummy, yummy, everybody. Welcome to this week's episode of the Disney Dining Show. I am Rhino, and today I'm joined by Craig Williams and Erica Resnick, and we are here at Epcot in the Norway Pavilion right outside of the Akershus Royal Banquet Hall, and we are gonna be doing the Princess Storybook Dining breakfast. So I have never done this. I've never eaten here uh, before. I've been inside for like a media event, so I know what it looks like in there, but th that's that's where it stops for me. I believe Erica and Craig have both uh, been here before though, so um, it'll be exciting. You know, we haven't, we don't do breakfast that often here on the Disney Dining Show, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to being super awkward, meeting all of the uh, princesses as they come around to the table and just seeing seeing what, uh, what the buzz is all around this uh, particular restaurant. So uh, before we get started, I want to remind everybody that this and everything that we do here is brought to you by Dreams Unlimited Travel, experts at helping you plan the perfect Disney vacation. When you book with them, it costs you nothing extra on your trip and you help support the channel and all the content that we produce here. So check them out, dreamsunlimitedtravel.com. And now that I have said that, I am hungry. It is early. Let's get to it. Yes, I was going to say, don't you have yeah. a little rose right yeah, here, too? Like, you've heard your story. Oh, how beautiful. Yeah, and I had my wedding dress look like your dress as well, but it was. Yeah. That's fantastic. I'll have to let Madame Wardrobe know. She would yes. be very honored to be your inspiration. And she did a wonderful job, didn't she? Oh, yes, yes. It's beautiful. beautiful. Thank you yeah. so much. Can we get your feet like to try me? Oh, oh yes, yes, yeah, for sure. You look you wearing your spell, were you? No. I wish. You <laughs> probably slept a little yes. better. Honestly, being under sleeping is not so bad, is it? Oh, not too bad. Especially if it's only a few hours. Exactly, yes, yeah. Who doesn't yeah. like you know, the best? And I had the best dreams ever when I was under a spell, too, and I woke up and they all came true. Hello? I think the left is to me a fame. Don't tell her I said that. Yeah. <laughs> My goodness, am I happy to be inside. It is sweltering heat outside, and let me tell you, the princesses are swirling around this room. There are five of them here today, just uh, going from table to table to table, so there is no shortage of that meet and greet. Um, here's the thing, we're sitting down, you might not be familiar, but um, this Akershus uh, Royal, uh, excuse me, Princess Storybook Dining, it is a, um, it is a family style uh, affair. So it's $53 per adult, plus tax and gratuity. But um, with that, you get uh, a whole bunch of stuff. There's breakfast pastries and accompaniments. There's a bowl of mixed fruit. And then you get another like savory platter that has um, potato casserole, scrambled eggs, bacon, sausage, and Norwegian waffles shaped like little hearts. And of course, Erica will talk to you about some of the uh, the restrictive dining stuff um, and all of that stuff. But uh, so here it is. The bowl of fruit was really nice. I really enjoyed it because it had a lot of grapes. It had melon, two to, you know, we got the green, we got the orange melons, we got some blueberries, plenty of strawberries. It was a pretty decently sized and um, very fresh fruit, which I really appreciate. Um, the assorted pastries platter was a lot of fun because it had like four different like types of pastries on here, but it also had um, some ham and then there was some salami and then there were two types of cheese along with like a uh, salmon dip and then there was the lingonberry on the side that you can dip the pastries in. There was a little bit of these like sesame crackers on there. I, I was actually like, it was a breakfast charcuterie and I was like, I, I really, really enjoyed that. Um, because I feel like that kind of gave it that little, the little something extra. Because for me, I feel like a lot of breakfast places you go, you go, and it's like it's always going to be bacon, eggs, sausage, waffles, or pancakes, or something like that, right? So this gave it that that little extra twist. I haven't done a lot of breakfasts on property in re years of recent, so. I'm not super knowledgeable on it, but I was very excited to see that. So it was like a really nice start. And then um, what was cool too is that uh, our eggs had um, a lot of butter on them. So it wasn't just like, oh, your typical scrambled eggs. There was like a little bit more of a, a sort of a density. Uh, this is gross, but a wetness, a wetness to it, if you will. 
Yeah, so they were like Norwegian scrambled eggs, I think is what he described them as. But um, they were they were really good, honestly. Um, they were they were very thick. I tried not to fill up on anything, so I could try everything. It's that typical. The bacon was crispy. That like wafer thin, like incredibly thin type of bacon, but it, it was pretty tasty and the sausage was really good. The only thing that I didn't love on the platter was actually the waffles. Um, I felt like they were, first of all, I think they maybe had like the maple syrup poured on them ahead of time. Um, so they were a little squishy for my taste. I like a crispy um, waffle, but um, they weren't bad. It was just like of everything else, I feel like they were the uh, it was a little bit of the shortcoming there, so not my favorite, but I'll tell you what my absolute favorite thing on this table was, was that um, potato casserole, okay? That thing was, I would I was like, if I hadn't tried everything and I wasn't such a little piggy, I was gonna ask for another little plate of it to just eat myself. And of course, I'm a trash person who likes to put ketchup or a hot sauce on it, which I also asked for and you can ask for. They had Tabasco, um, which isn't my favorite, but um, they had ketchup on here. I didn't end up actually needing it. It was just, it was so good just the way it is. And um, I really enjoyed that. And then another item I really enjoyed that I'm sure Eric is gonna talk a little bit more about was there was a plant-based, um, a plant-based, uh, egg, uh, egg, plant-based apple cake that was like, if you know me, you know I've got an obsession with like a cinnamon crumble. Like I love a little Debbie's like little coffee cake or something like that. This thing had like little pieces of apple in it. It was so good. So maybe just like ask for it or like be like, hey, somebody has dietary restrictions or something. Or just ask for it. Like it was, it was a do not miss for me. For sure. So, um, yeah, that that was good. And um, the princess interactions were, like, so quick and crazy that it was, like, almost overwhelming. Um, but I'm going to let some other people talk about it. But uh, I've got to say that I enjoyed it. Did you catch those at last year's Mardi Gras? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Well, that's nice. <laughs> well, then you can help me to catch them. Hey. Yes, it's good job, boys. It's all tiny out there. Great for playing the trumpet, not but so good at catching Mardi Gras. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm sure with your help, we'll catch as many as you'd like. Yeah, we'll try our best. <laughs> Should we smile together to the Yeah. All right. So we've had a wonderful time here so far. The princesses are doing phenomenal. They're all gorgeous. Love meeting all of them. Um, but let's get into the food here. There is a plant-based um, like platter, but I didn't want to order that. I just wanted to focus on like my dairy allergy and try to see how much I could try of the food. So my little platter came with, to start, was the plant-based apple uh, cake which to me honestly starved the show. It was just so good. All the flavors, like that that cinnamon flavor, everything was perfect and the cake was the perfect consistency. And I wish I could just order like five more to take home because I would come back just to get that little cake. It was so good. Um, what else came on here was almost like everyone else's. I had the waffle. Um, I had scrambled eggs, but my scrambled eggs didn't have any butter or anything. They were just pretty plain, but I thought they were they were good either way. And then they came with a blueberry muffin too, like on my pastry side. And the blueberry muffin, it was fine. Um, it was better than some plant-based ones I've had in the past and dairy-free ones. So it was really good for, for that. Um, and they also put some ham and uh, salami on my plate. I tried the ham. Uh, I don't like salami, but the ham was pretty good. It was like a sweet ham. And then the next thing were the potatoes. I didn't get the potato casserole. I got these little like, you know, the, the normal breakfast potatoes that you would get. And they were actually really, really good. I liked them. I liked pairing them with my eggs. Uh, but overall, I really, I thought it was a good uh, dairy-free breakfast. And sometimes I feel like, oh, in breakfast, like there's cheese and everything, there's milk and everything. I wasn't sure if I would get enough food but I think I had more than enough food. Um, I didn't even have a chance to ask for anything extra because there was just so much in my plate that that's all I really needed. Um, I love character dining. I love meeting characters and princesses. For me, this is like an absolute, I would come back again, especially like if my family was in town or if I was celebrating my birthday or something, I would definitely come back here to enjoy this meal and the atmosphere. It is kind of hard to hear everyone with the really high ceilings, but I do love the atmosphere. I think it's beautiful in here. And in the summer, 
a great escape from the heat. But overall, I enjoyed everything I had on my plate. The waffles, they were good. I feel like they were lacking something, um, but they were fine. Eggs, great, everything, but that apple cake, get it. Just ask. I, they will be more than happy to bring it to you. But this was wonderful. I had a great time, and the food was great. He's been so busy getting ready for our concert under the sea. I hope to see you there. Oh, I'd love to go. Oh, yes. Uh, we'll yes. be there. I promise I will. <laughs> <laughs> you got to show up. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying your visit to the castle. Oh, yes. Oh. Everything's been great so far. Oh, yes. wonderful. And it's beautiful in here. Oh, I, I know. It kind of reminds me of Eric's castle. Just a little bit, yeah. <laughs> Would you care for a picture at your table? Yes, yes. please. Yeah. Oh, want to go in there? Perfect. Well, you're I have missed Ocker Shoes. It just feels like it has been forever since I've been in here. It's definitely been since pre-pandemic, and my family would always come for dinner when we would dine here, so I don't think I've actually ever had breakfast. But uh, I'm, I'm just so happy to be back in here. Like, for the past couple years, they've been using it like when it was sitting vacant for media events. So you'd walk in and it was just kind of sad inside. So having the princesses in here, walking around, having people, having a good time. It's just, it's, it's, uh, it's bringing back good memories of great meals here. And you know what, speaking of this meal, I'd say it was pretty okay. I mean, what is there to say about breakfast? It might be the best meal of the day for some people. For me, it's not necessarily my favorite, but there definitely was some some good parts of this meal. Uh, I'll echo Rhino's sentiments about the fruit. I thought it was a really nice bowl. I was surprised at how many strawberries were in there and how many grapes were in there. Uh, usually they just go crazy with melons, but this was not the case at all, and I was happy with that. For the uh, cold platter, I will say there was a like a chocolate turnover that was on there, like a chocolate pastry that I thought was really, really delightful. You know, it wasn't overwhelming with chocolate flavor, but it was still light and flaky. Uh, the cinnamon roll, I accidentally uh, went to split it in half and I just pulled out the center. So Rhino didn't get to have any of the cinnamon roll, but I can speak about the center. Center was good, but it also feels like a mass produced cinnamon roll. Like It's not like the kind you're getting at you know, Magic Kingdom. It's not a, a classy cinnamon roll. The lingonberries, I put that on the waffles as well as the croissant that was part of the cold plate. I liked it on the croissant. I also had a little bit of that salmon dip on the croissant as well too. And I'm usually picky about uh, seafood dips like that. Uh, they're not always my favorite, but this one was really nice. Uh, it had a lot of herbs in there. A lot of like dill was popping through. So I thought it was, yeah, I thought it was actually a really nice dish to, uh, a nice dip, not a dish, to accompany everything else that was on the plate. And I feel like I'm missing one of the pastries that we had on there, but uh, it's in my belly now. Well, no, not the, the, you guys talked enough about the apple. No, the other apple. The other, oh yeah, that's right. There was like an apple pie kind of on there that was like, it was slightly reminiscent of like a McDonald's apple pie in flavor or a hostess apple pie. It wasn't great. I didn't, I didn't love it. I kind of regret eating it. Uh, for the hot portion of it, I do agree with Rhino that the waffles weren't necessarily my favorite. They did come out feeling like kind of soggy, like there might be some sort of syrup already on there, but I loved how they were served, the little hearts. Uh, it reminded me very much of the toaster waffles that you can buy that have like, they're sectioned off into the fours and they each are like little pieces of toast. Uh, I, you know, there's a little bit of cinnamon flavor in here. I, I enjoyed it with the powdered sugar. Once I threw the lingonberry on top, took it to the next level, emerald style. Uh, for the eggs, I believe Rhino was missing a key portion of it uh, out of his description. These were runny eggs. While they did have a density to them, they were very runny like European eggs and milky and it was milky, wet, buttery, uh, and the eggs were fluffy but dense. It was all of that happening in once. So very interesting, but yeah, if you don't like runny eggs in that way, I don't know if you would love these ones. You might want to ask for them to be cooked a little longer, but. I, I love the Met style. It's 
of the few times I've been to Europe, every time they throw runny eggs in front of me, I'm like hallelujah. It's what I love. Uh, the potatoes two ways was awesome. Uh, cheesy, uh, very flavorful. I liked it. It was both hash brown potatoes and cubed potatoes all mixed in. I thought that was a, a fun twist on a potato casserole. And yeah, the, the sausage and bacon was just kind of boring because I feel like that was the most Americanized thing technically on that plate. It's like, oh, just regular link sausage and bacon. I'm sure there's some sort of uh, Norwegian sausage that they could have thrown on here to make it a little fancier, but alas, there wasn't. Maybe a reindeer sausage? I would have liked that. Maybe that's just Alaskan and Canadian. I'm sure it's also probably Scandinavian as well, too. Uh, so I can't just sit here and be like, I like this, so that was worth it to me. I have to break this down into the price. So $53 will just stand there as like a basic. Uh, for me, $53, I'm not sure if I quite got there. Uh, the breakfast itself, like to me, as I'm sitting here eating it, I'd value it at like $26, $27, and then add on a drink uh, to that, you know, $4 for a cup of coffee because your drinks are included in terms of coffee, tea, soft drinks, milk, chocolate milk. That's all in there. If you want to get like a specialty breakfast beverage with alcohol in it, uh, a Pilsner or a mimosa, perhaps, uh, that will cost you additionally in terms of the meal. But uh, yeah, so I'm like, I feel like this breakfast is somewhere around like $30 to like $33 in terms of its value. So then you're talking about a $20 premium for princesses. And, you know, maybe that's worth it to you. I will say I was sitting one person in on the table. And when those princesses were coming by, I could not hear a single thing they were saying. So while I got my photo with them, I felt like I had no interaction with them. So it's like, I can't even say if you just justify it for the photo, maybe you get there. But for me, it wasn't, it wasn't like a oh, true meet and greet. I did not feel like I had that. So for me, this fell a little bit short and I'd be worried about that with kids too. If you, you know, your kids are super excited to come here and meet the princesses. It's not, it's not the best environment. I thought that Cinderella's Royal Table was even as loud and as noisy as that was, I felt like we had a little bit better interaction with the princesses than we did here. Uh, but this was also a much easier reservation to get than anything with Royal Table. But yeah, it's, I, I would definitely come back here again for dinner at some point, but I think for me, breakfast, it will be a long time before I come back here again. <laughs> I can try my best. Yeah. If you're quite wondering, <laughs> your animal friends can come help us make the pie. I have two oh, corgis that are perfect to help cats, in the kitchen. So we'll just bring them all together. Yeah. That's quite wonderful. <laughs> Oh, yeah, perfect. Yeah. Get them, turn that frown upside down, yeah, maybe. These fried <laughs> pies tend to make them a little less crumbly. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone like a portrait again? Oh, yeah. Wonderful. Okay. So lovely hair, too. Oh, thank you. Just to close us out here, I want to also point out that they give us a um, one of the autograph cards that we got, similar to the one at um, Cinderella's Royal Table. And what's interesting about this autograph card, though, is there are three signatures on here of princesses that we didn't meet. So we've got Cinderella, Mulan, and Princess Jasmine. Um, so I don't know if at some times they all meet that because our server did keep asking, like, "Oh, did you did you guys?" meet all five of the princesses. So they are very um, good about checking to make sure that you're gonna meet all the princesses and everything. So I don't know if they rotate or what the deal is with that, but you get a little autograph card for all the autograph collectors out there, just so you know. And I also wanna just point out too, um, the price for a kid's meal because Craig brought up like, he doesn't know uh, bringing a kid or not, but um, I know he said it was $53 per adult plus tax and gratuity. It's $34 for a child ages three to nine plus tax and gratuity. And then um, they do also do lunch and dinner here, which um, the price goes up a little bit. It's $63 per adult um, plus tax and gratuity and $41 for kids. And um, honestly, looking at the the 
the menu for the lunch or dinner, I can say that after my experience here today for breakfast, I would definitely give this place a try again. I would recommend it, but I think I would recommend it for lunch or dinner. That I, um, I I'm the I, I'm just echoing Craig's sentiment is that like for me, I know Erica has said that breakfast is like her favorite meal of the day. Um, I don't not like breakfast, but I said earlier in my video, uh, in my my testimonial, if you will, that um, that I. It's one of those meals that sometimes I feel like is hard to reinvent the wheel on, so it gets a little it gets a little boring. And there looks like there's some pretty interesting um, items, like a grilled salmon on the lunch and dinner menu. So uh, I would I would recommend it in terms for that. I also think if you are somebody who's like Erica or you have kids um, who like love meeting princesses and things like that, maybe this would be the spot for you. But me. For me, I'm like, I don't know, the price seems a little bit high. There are there are less expensive character meet and greets on property and there are more expensive um, character dining, not meet and greets, but character dining meals. And so um, I did I wouldn't I didn't not like it, but I like Craig said, I don't think I would be returning for me for breakfast like on my own or anything like that. But um, but with that said, um, the total for all of us with a 10% uh, annual pass holder discount um, with the tip and everything comes, comes out to $190.40. So for breakfast for three people, that is a lot of, uh, a lot of cheddar like they had on the, the breakfast platter here. So when you look at it like that, you're like, oh God, the day is just getting started and I just dropped this money. But like I said, I think you, you got to make your own informed decision about that stuff, but everything was pretty pleasant. And, um, I, I do want to point out too, it was good that Craig said the thing about um, not being able to hear the princesses because I have a little bit of hearing loss and I am on the end seat and I really couldn't hear. I basically heard the word gooseberry 15 times from Snow White and that was about it. And we are sitting at one of the bigger tables with seats um, four on each side. If you were sitting against the wall, I'd only see lips moving. I wouldn't hear anything. And it would be difficult for me to like run out and get the picture and stuff like that so just something to consider there and I'm sure that's like part of the experience they don't want the princesses yelling or raising their voices or adding to the, the environment but it's not the loudest place we've ever been it's just the way the sounds getting absorbed because there is carpeting um, on the ground here but uh, yeah so that's I think all I've got to say about that and uh, I just want to remind everybody, you know, if you enjoyed the video, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave some comments, questions, concerns, all that stuff. We'll answer them to the best of our ability. And if you liked it and you want to support us, don't forget about booking a, a, a trip with Dreams Unlimited Travel. But that is going to do it for this uh, episode of the Disney Dining Show. He's not, he's not coming in with me, so I'm just going to say yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy.